Welcome everyone to Greg's Arcade and welcome to a video that I've been very excited to make. This is a follow-up to a video game that came out recently that you've probably seen me playing and that game is Gran Turismo 7. If you've never seen anything from the Gran Turismo series, essentially it's a simulation racing game where you drive realistic cars and realistic scenarios in realistic events and it's a lot of fun. And I knew this game was coming out for a little while now and I thought you know what would make this game really awesome? The thing that's sitting beside me right here, and this is a Logitech G29 steering wheel and pedal set, along with a Logitech shifter. This is the driving force shifter. I ended up finding this on sale, actually, on Amazon for about $300, which may seem expensive to you, but if for this is usually about $350 total for this whole setup. And I thought this would make my experience with not only Gran Turismo, but a lot of other racing games a lot of fun because I wanna have the Greg's Arcade experience. I wanna be able to feel like I'm in an arcade. And one of my favorite memories from being a kid is when I would go into the arcade and they'd actually have like the, the, the driving setups there where you sit inside a car or you have that steering wheel, you have the gas pedals. And as cool as it is using the controller, especially with this game, because the PlayStation 5 controller is incredible with the feedback that you get with it and the vibration, and especially in the, the triggers that are on there. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun and I'm excited just to get on and do some time trials and things like that and try to drive like a realistic driving game using the pedals, using the wheel, and of course, attempting to use the shifter. I've been watching guys do this on YouTube and it looks like it's a lot of fun but also very challenging, but I'm up for that challenge and I hope you are too because we're about to unbox this and give this a run today. In full transparency, I actually already opened the shifter because this came first for some reason and I was so excited just to like see what it was like, I took it out, but I'll pretend that I'm unboxing it for the first time with you. What could this be? Oh, it's a shifter, the cringe level, my friends. But as you can see, you can put this right on your table. You don't have to have like a super expensive driving rig as much as I may do that in my future, depending on how this goes, like where you have the cockpit. You can put this right on your table and it has some clamps there that you can adjust. So you can just kind of bring that up depending on how thick your table is. And then it's on there and then you can shift through the gears, which I think is gonna be fun. Even though all the people that I've watched play Gran Turismo 7, none of them are actually using a shifter like this because you have to take your hand off the wheel, but I want that like real driving experience. I did save this for you guys. Oh, but there you go. That is my force feedback. What was it? Driving force shifter. Free with this purchase, basically. For now, we'll put that aside because we need to get into the thing that I think we're all here for. And I've had people asking me about this like crazy because I hyped it up a little bit. I was like, dude, I'm gonna be getting a wheel with this. And people were excited. So I'm just as excited as you are to reveal. Oh my gosh, there's a lot going on here. Let me bring you up here. Take a gander at all of this. Of course, this thing, you have to actually plug it in. It has its own power. So there's that. And a power brick that goes with it as well. So it's kind of just like a, a console of sorts. Here's the pedals. They are heavy, holy smokes. Dang. That is, that is legit, man. Oh my gosh, the force on those too. I didn't think it'd be this premium. That feels really good. Woo! So again, this is the G29, which is usable on PlayStation and also on PC. So you can play PC games with this as well. Does not work on Xbox. Xbox has one, I think it's the 920. This is the G29, it's the 920 for Xbox. If you're a Forza guy, there's the gas. Brake, a lot more feedback, clutch. Very cool, very cool. I'm excited, dude. And this has, I guess, like little things that go in the bottom. So it kinda, it kinda gets hung up on your carpet if you have carpeting. You can see these right here. And that should stay flat when you're trying to drive because you don't want this thing, if, as you're pushing on it, you don't want it moving away from you as you're trying to drive. So I think this will be real nice. We've got one more thing to get into inside here. And it's, it's not this. It's not this. It's this, the wheel. And we get into it to reveal just how awesome it is. So we'll actually put it the right way up. You can see how that is. There is some feedback in this, so it does like kind of rumble and you can adjust that. I think these are the shifters that all the peeps are using right here. I think that's what the smart 
drivers use. But for me, like I wanna have that full experience like I mentioned. So for, for my style, I think I am gonna try using the shifter. But if I'm doing like competitive things in Gran Turismo, I probably, I probably won't that. I don't even know if I'll use this wheel because I don't know if I'm gonna be competitive. It's gonna take some ex some practice and some experience to, to really get used to this. But that's what the wheel looks like. And once again, you have the things where you can put this onto a table. You move those out, and you can put it on there real nice and easy. And it should stay there. It has controls on the front, so it's just like a PlayStation controller, and it feels great. It's like leather wrapped. It's good, let me get you some close-ups on this. Here's what it would look like if you were driving. Oh my God, I just got a great idea. We have Gran Turismo up on the projector and I could sit here. Actually, I could put a whole racing cockpit right there and then have it up there. It'd be like my giant windshield. And you can imagine us driving like this would be so amazing. Although I think like there's a little bit of input lag with that because it has to go from like there through the receiver, through the ceiling up there and then like there. So there might be problems with driving, but it would be kind of cool to try. Buttons feel good, not as good as PlayStation. D-pad feels, feels okay. Won't be hitting these buttons too much other than going through the menus and stuff. But that feels good. I like this up top there too. That's, that's a nice little detail. It feels great in the hand. Oh my gosh, it feels premium. And it should be for the price, like I said. It's an expensive experiment, but still cheaper than like an arcade setup. Speaking of that, they wanna hype us up here on some actual cockpits that you can put this into get the seat you get the mounts put the things for the pedals you know we'll see we'll see today we'll kind of determine that here's a little bit of a less expensive one where it's almost like a lawn chair that folds up and you can use that like that nice hype oh my gosh now that would be cool i just i don't have a great spot for this down here unless i put it back in that corner where we get rid of this just like everything's kind of open here Maybe get rid of some Lego stuff. But anyways, you guys want to see this thing in operation. So I'm going to attempt to hook this all up and I'll show you what that's like. But first, some of you guys are probably seeing that. And yeah, that's coming off. Before I get this set up over at the table there, I'm going to show you the wiring setup. It's so easy. So you got the shifter here. That plugs in right here. And you can see there's a little picture of a shifter. The pedals get plugged in there where the pictures of the pedal are. And it's the connector just like that. And then the power for all of this you're gonna plug that into there and then that gets plugged into right there beside the pedals and that's it. So basically three plugs there, assuming you're using a shifter and then you plug it in and then this goes out to your console, which uh, just plugs in right into the front there. I just decided I'm gonna bring you along on the whole experience here because maybe you're curious. So the wheel, maybe something like that. And you can see under here, maybe or maybe not, that you're just gonna tighten these things down and then push them down and that will lock it in place. I just have to figure out like exactly where I wanna be. And I think, like, I guess this will work, you know, kinda, kinda off to the side a little bit. My chat's all the way over there, so I'm usually kind of in the middle because I'm gonna be streaming this, but yeah, I suppose that'll work. We're just gonna tighten that down and then locked it. Yeah, I'm moving the whole table. The TV's moving more than this wheel is, so we're all good there. Since we're here, let's do the shifter. The shifter is gonna go on this side since I'm in the, the US. This is an interesting setup here. So it has the same thing, but then it has this as well. The problem that I'm running into though, or that I will run into, is that I have a bar right here for the underside of my table. So I'm probably not gonna be able to use that. Oh yeah, I will actually, because it might make it behind there. We'll see, we'll, we'll give, this a, give this a shot. Crap, that does not clear the bar. So my shifter, I gotta figure something out with this. Oh, this'll work. Gotta put the shifter over further. We might have to move this whole setup over a little bit. I guess I should have figured this out before I got all crazy with tighten it down. And I'll show you what I mean down below here once I have this all set up on here. If you look under here, that bar that I showed you, that's a problem for this piece that comes out. What if I could take that off? I thought I'd be fancy and try to take these screws out, which I did. And then I tried taking this off and realized that there are other screws that are deep down inside there. So I think what I'm gonna do is just move over a couple inches and that should solve all my problems. Sometimes it's better to keep things simple than to complicate stuff. And it's not a big deal if I move over a little bit. Now we'll come back to where we were initially and do what we were supposed to do. I can move it over about that far. That is on there. I'm moving the whole table, watch this. This is uh, looks rather precarious. 
You know, if I'm really into a race, all my stuff's kind of wobbling. Imagine my TV just falls over. That'd be fun. Not really. Anyways, let's let's see what we're gonna do with the pedals here because again, I've got a I've got a bar down here. It's gonna mess things up a little bit. <laughs> Professional racer here. Uh, I. I think this could work and having that bar there is actually an asset because now it doesn't move forward. So yeah, yeah, this feels, feels good to me, man. That's nice to have these little guides under here. It makes it, makes it real nice. All right, so now we've got everything where it should be. Here is the official wire mess. Everything's plugged in except for this, which I'm gonna feed right around here. And we should have enough slack to get into the front of the PlayStation 5. So we could clean this up a little bit. I'll use these to do that and we'll make this look somewhat presentable. That doesn't look too bad. So now it's time to play the game. Just have to remove Minecraft because Clark Man was playing that. Disc based, I, I'm split on it. I really am. I debated whether to get this digitally, but my Discord convinced me that I should do the physical copy. That way I have something to own and to hold. And I had a fun time making a video of us shopping for this, which was great. We did some other stuff as well. So there's Gran Turismo 7 into the PlayStation 5. I always like forget which way to put it in, but it's, you have to think of this as the top. That's like hidden at the bottom. Preparing software update, no. This says PS3, PS4, oh goodness. I hope this works with PS5. This is working. I just need this to be the first player. I just got out of the habit of turning that on. Okay, let's, uh, Let's do a little quick restart here. You know what's interesting too? I didn't plug any of this in, yet that was still working. Should probably have done that. Leave a like on this video if this is the single worst tech video tutorial you've ever seen in your entire existence. Looking forward to all those likes. <laughs> I gotta take this off again. Someone's watching this and like, Greg, are you ever going to freaking play the game? I just wanna see how it works. Hey, this is the full service tutorial here, my friend. We don't cut corners around here at Greg's Arcade Industries. Where was this at? Right over here. I should have noticed there was one more wire hole in here. I should have noticed. There we go. It's a full house now. Make sure we're all set here the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, we're all good. Okay. Are we actually set now? I feel like we're actually set. Can I turn the PlayStation on with this? Apparently not. Oh my God. That was legit. <laughs> I was just sitting here waiting. <laughs> the thing just like took off on me. Hey, now it's working. That intro is probably the greatest intro I've ever seen in a video game. Um. Okay. Oh my God, that's super hard to turn. Holy smokes. As you guys can see, I'm hitting the, hitting the gas. I have an automatic, so I don't need to be using the shifter. The feedback is a little aggressive. Maybe that's good, though. <laughs> what are you doing right now? Holy. I am driving a Camaro, by the way, which maybe isn't the best uh, car to start with. Change car. We'll get a nice, easy-to-drive Japanese car. What do we got in the collection here? Oh, here's a perfect car. <laughs> the old skull, baby. The AE86, automatic transmission, we want that to be manual. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not ready. I think if I get you guys far enough back, you might be able to see me drive and do all of this stuff at the same time. We're just gonna click continue. Okay, I didn't use the clutch at all. Do I have to? Oh, I gotta shift. Oh my God, shifting is way too much for me to remember. <laughs> I'm trying to hit the brakes. Holy crap. I can't remember to do all this stuff. 
Ooh, these bumps on the road, you see the steering wheel just freaking send it. It's nuts, man. Oh my gosh. This is actually really fun. Holy smokes. The feedback is wild. One last shot here for you folks of the pedals. Everything feels really good. That being said, I've never used like a really expensive setup before. So I'm sure you could probably do better. That's me going through all the gears and I just completed a lap. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun for me to experiment around with and to actually have like that arcade racing driving experience. You got the shifter and everything. Like when I hit the, the clutch and then I put it into first and then you even have that experience where you have to kind of gently go off of the one go into the other and then it like instantly goes into second gear because the car's tuned that way well i mean i'm, in, I'm going 40 miles an hour that i went into third it's it's awesome this is great fun as i crash i'm trying to do too many things at once here but the feedback is wild i might like even need to turn that down some more because it's just crazy but i'm having fun with this and i'm gonna do a lot with this on my gaming channel which uh, you're watching right now most likely the only question is whether i'm going to do this when i'm doing like license tests when i'm doing competitions and stuff because i still feel like with the controller i'm gonna be way better with that so this is gonna be just kind of playing around for me but i've got a ton of various racing games not only for playstation but also for xbox which i have game pass and i can put on the pc so i could <laughs> I could technically, as I'm just smashed into everything, I could technically play pretty much anything using this. Uh, so we might be doing a whole bunch of experimentation with it and trying to get our $300 worth. I think I'm going to do it and I'm up for the challenge. So thank you for tuning into this uh, unboxing, haul, unboxing, review, whatever this was, demonstration of the Logitech G29 wheel. If you guys want to pick this up, I'll put a link on Amazon or if you need anything else on Amazon, you can use my link as well but it's the G29 driving force along with the shifter. You can get a bundle or you can buy these separately. If you're not into the stick shifting version of it, you can just get this. On that, I'm going to go live and uh, play a whole bunch of this. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video.